Welcome to Marketecture, where you can get smart fast with in-depth interviews of leading technology vendors. I'm Ari Papero. I'm here today with Josh Mannion, the CEO of Vault.js. Josh, thanks for being here. Thanks, Ari. I appreciate you having me on. So I don't know much at all about the Vault.js. So this is going to be new information for me. So um, let's start with the basics. What, what do you do? Well, so Vault.js does what we call digital marketing assurance. And in a nutshell, what we are doing is helping large enterprises and consumers of ad tech and martech use that technology safely and responsibly so that not only do they not potentially have any of their customers' information or you know, personal PII type, uh, type data stolen off of their site, but also that they're doing all of the right things in terms of respecting privacy and all of the different sort of regulatory constraints that they have to adhere to around the world. We've interviewed a number of security companies that, for example, help publishers prevent malware from showing on their sites or privacy companies. So it sounds like you're crossing over between security and privacy. Yes, I would sort of say that, you know, if you're a picture of Venn diagram, right, like we, we play in the, in the security space, we play in the privacy space, and we play in the digital marketing sort of operation space as well. And it, uh, it actually kind of comes from the background of the founding team here. So the, the entire founding team at Vault.js was sort of instrumentally involved in a company called Insight and in the enterprise tag management space before. And so, you know, 10, 12 years ago, whatever, whatever it was, we all started that, our same CTO, same original, uh, you know, first few engineers and, and myself and our COO and, and so on. We're all sort of together at that organization. And when we... When we were thinking about what do we want to do next, as we were sort of all transitioning out of that, it occurred to us that there was this big blind spot for the enterprise where they, you know, when they onboard all of the SaaS technology, they typically make you fill out a really long questionnaire. They typically, they might do a penetration test if it's a bank or someone really security conscious, but then they basically never do anything else ever again. <laughs> and it was it's it true. was shocking to me when you when you thought about how dynamic that ecosystem is in terms of how quickly it changes, how frequently the vendors are updating their code, they're updating what type of technology they are, or I should say, what sort of data that they're collecting, and the fact that the enterprise had basically no visibility to anything that was happening outside their firewall was sort of the motivation for us to do this. And when we started the company back in 2018, we started to see this emergence of things. You would see things like mage card attacks and you would see other people sort of compromising these third-party vendors to get access to the enterprises underneath. And what we learned was that, you know, we could create an application that basically does all of that analysis for the client, right? Because it was completely overwhelming when we started talking to clients they would say something like, well, I built my own system to check how frequently the code changes. And it turns out it right. changes 1,800 times a day. <laughs> and so the, the answer was, well, we know it changes, but we have no idea what's changing or if we should care about any of this or how do we sort through that. And so the first step that we sort of took in that process was understanding how do we create an analysis engine that basically takes advantage of all of this subject matter expertise we had from the tag management world in terms of who, what are these things supposed to be doing? What are, what are signatures of things that are bad or malicious that we would, you know, identify proactively? And then how do we create a, like a closed loop learning environment where the system can identify the 99% of things that are known to be bad? And then our team can continually leverage that, you know, subject matter expertise to both train the analysis engine but also eliminate the need for customers to get tons of alerts that mean nothing or that they sort of get conditioned to ignore, which is, which is sort of the Achilles heel of systems like this, right? Is that they can, you know, alert you every time the wind changes direction, but you don't need to do anything based on that. Right. And that was sort of our origin. And then when we took the next step, so we, so we basically started working with clients and generally big enterprise clients and sort of like the Fortune 500 was sort of our, our wheelhouse. And then about a year ago, we realized that there were many privacy-related applications to this sort of core technology that we had been living in that sort of digital marketing, digital marketing security world. And I would say about a year ago, we started to really explore the opportunities inside privacy for doing things like understanding whether or not consent is correctly being honored or whether or not you know data is leaking off the site or whether or not data processing agreements are being honored in the background and things like that. Thanks for listening. 
To hear the complete interview, subscribe at architecture.tv. Thank you.